Hey everyone, in this video we are talking about molar volume of a gas. So, if you have molar volume of a gas, it's important to know what your conditions are. Conditions have to be at something called STP, which stands for Standard Temperature and Pressure. So, under normal conditions, at STP, one molar volume of any gas is equal to 22.4 liters. So, a molar, one molar volume of any gas will fill 22.4 liters of space. So, let's do an example where we calculate the volume of a certain amount of moles of a gas. So let's say we have oxygen gas, O2. If we have 5 moles of O2 at STP, and we want to know the amount of liters that that will occupy. So 1 mole will occupy 22.4 liters. How many, will, how many liters will 5 moles occupy? So we will go 5 moles times 22.4 liters per mole. That's how much space one mole of any gas measures at STP equals 5 times 22.4 would equal 112 moles cancel out and we're left with a unit of liters. Let's do another example. This time we've got chlorine gas. And so we are asked, what is the mass of 15.9 liters of chlorine gas? So we have 15.9 liters times 22.4 liters. Will, will be enough space to hold one mole times we were asked the mass so we need to end up with mass on the top our liters have cancelled out we need something with moles on the bottom so that moles will cancel out well mass can be a unit of grams and we know that grams per mole, how to measure grams per mole is something called molar mass. I have a video on how to figure that out if you're not sure how to do it. But basically all you have to do is think how many atoms of chlorine are in Cl2. Well there's two atoms. And the atomic weight of chlorine is right here, 35.45 atomic mass units. So we have 35.45 times, we have two of them, that would give me 70.9 grams. 70.9 70 grams per mole. And then all my units look like they should cancel out okay. So I'll go 15.9 divided by 22.4 times 70.9 equals, I get 50.3 grams. Let's do, do I have another example for you? Yes. Okay, so we'll do one more where we're given grams and we want to find the space in liters. So we have NO, 100 grams of it. How much space does it occupy? 100 grams times, well, we need grams to cancel out, and we want our answer in terms of liters. So we don't have any sort of conversion rate between grams and liters, but we do have a conversion rate between grams and moles. That's the molar mass, and mole per liter. That's molar volume of 22.4 liters for any mole at STP. So first we need the molar mass of NO, that would be nitrogen has 
14 grams plus oxygen has 16. So 14 plus 16 would just be 30 grams. And every mole times the question should state that it's at STP so that we know that for every one mole it'll occupy 22.4 liters of space. Grams cancels with grams, moles cancels with moles, and we're left with liters. And so I will go 100 divided by 30 times 22.4, and I get 74.666 repeating. So I will round that to 74.67 because there's 1, 2, 3, 4 sig figs in the question, and that would be in the unit of liters.